thanks. I am uh, super glad to have a chance to be here with you today. Uh, I want to share a few thoughts. Uh, we get a chance to present a few awards, which I'm excited about, and uh, uh, just uh, have a chance to, to really, you know, sort of uh, conceive of where we all have an opportunity to, to take the world. I'm uh, coming up on my 30th anniversary at Microsoft. Oh, am I old. But the thing that's unbelievable that gets me kind of fired up every day is the fact that the chance to do exciting work is unbelievable today. Maybe even more unbelievable, frankly, than the day I got to Microsoft. Which, you know, you can say, oh, come on, there was no PC, there was no internet. How can today be more exciting? Well, maybe I just know more uh, today than I did then. But for those of you sitting in the audience, people are really going to create the future. Create the future. Exciting, interesting, innovative. New applications, content, experiences, devices. And yeah, we at Microsoft are going to do our part two to do all of that and to give you the tools and, and platforms that you need to drive forward. It's just an incredibly exciting time, I think, to have anything to do with technology. In case you're not quite as pumped up about this as I am, we, we prepared just a short video, just two minutes, two minutes just to get you to think about some of the things that we and you ought to be and will be creating over the course of the next few years. Two minutes. That's all it was, two minutes. Maybe it was two minutes, 12 seconds. But just think about it. Whether it's small screen devices, middle size screen devices, screens that are as big as a wall, Screens that can fold and be put in your pocket. We showed a variety of new things that you'll be able to do with information technology. The little boy and the little girl who are communicating with each other across the world as if they're in a virtual classroom together. One communicating in English and the other communicating uh, in, in, in time. Whether it's a newspaper that's as thin and light and flexible as a piece of paper that you can mark on and annotate and sort of be the digital record, if you will, of your life. Whether it's the ability to bring a digital shopping list into a store and have it automatically map what you want to do with what's available. Whether it's the ability to model the physical world in the virtual world to design next generation products or to teach and help people repair and fix complex and sophisticated machinery. Wall sides boards that let you navigate through seas of information to get exactly the right insight to solve your problem. Next generation co uh, content and interactivity. All of these things will be inventable. We're focusing our attention in really three key areas. And the amount of innovation that we hope as a company to unlock in all of you and many others around the world will stem from those innovations. We're trying to build intelligent clients, which include and integrate the best of today's rich client and the best of today's browsers. If you take a look, for example, what we're doing with Internet Explorer 9, and we're really trying to enable the best of the browser and the best of hardware exploitation in the rich client. You can see the path to the future. Next generation server and cloud platforms that allow you to build applications that intelligently can be deployed and distributed around the globe through technologies like Windows and SQL Azure. Intelligent capabilities that help you manage presentation, information management like SharePoint, com compute and runtimes like Windows Server and Azure, and of course, data storage and data management. And then, runtimes and tools 
that actually allow you to be effective in building those applications. Everything we do, we're trying to contemplate and think through. How do we make it available to the kinds of developers sitting in the room today and watching versus via webcast throughout India? How do we give you the tools that let you build these kinds of amazing, amazing experience? I get asked often, where are you going with Bing? You really have an uphill competitive battle with your Bing product. Where, where are you going? How do you think about that? <laughs> Even Bing, which in some senses is a, is a platform for matching what we know about the world and what we know about the world's users, that data platform we see putting a form and making available over time to the developers of the world. Phones, Windows Phone, new release this year, TVs, etc. So we see a broad range of technologies that we need to both make solutions for customers and make into platforms that you can build off of and leverage and take to the next level in terms of delivering on the kinds of scenarios that we show in the picture. Our industry and our company talk a lot these days about cloud, 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 cloud. The future is the cloud. When you try to talk to non-technical people about the cloud, they really have a hard time understanding it. it it's sort of an interesting phenomenon. Some people want to say, oh, the cloud is when you take your data center and you put it in the internet. I think the cloud is actually a lot more than that. The cloud is the direction in which we're evolving every one of our products. Windows, Office, Bing, Internet Explorer, Windows Server, SQL Server, SharePoint. Uh, I don't know, I may have missed one in there. But every one of our key products embracing this notion of the cloud. And the cloud is probably best characterized as two things. Number one, it's the fusion of the best of the internet with the best of the enterprise data center, with the best of the PC, with the best of the phone and the TV.